where did that passion for social work like where do you think that originally came from because we were talking before like i, I didn't want to say that it's your work and you said mm. it, it's it's your passion yeah where did that really start like can you remember when you first sort of thought oh this is what i want to do and this is where i'm going i think um growing up with a mum that been disabled mm. you know um and i've always been a good listener mm. and a good yana and um you know and you know oh, i've been married twice uh been engaged I think nine times <laughs> it's a numbers <laughs> yeah, game yeah. <laughs> you'll get the right one eventually <laughs> but yeah. it was about i've been through so much in my life and you know how many people we go see in the and you sit there and go oh they've just learned it through a book mm. you know and i had been through so much in my life to go actually i can help people get through it mm. you know and especially tane yeah a lot of men in their 50s you know that you don't understand well bro i do mm. you know and so i've always had a passion i worked for a supported employment agency for uh, seven years working with people with disabilities um you know no good at the paperwork but mm. i could get anyone into work mm. you know um you know uh, you look at a marketing department and they can sell that object yeah that table mm. yeah but you you um, market someone that's in a wheelchair for a job mm. that can't move, but still wants the job. Yeah, that's a true marketer. Mm. Yeah, because you are having to see the positives and listen to their story to go. You're amazing, mm. and that's what you say to an employer. Yeah, you know that person will bring, if anything, a smile to everyone's face, mm. yep. you know, and um, so that's it all, always grew in me, um, and that four years I've been in the Wananga, mm -hmm. um, and been immersed in Māoridom, and going, yeah, I can, I can do this, mm. yeah, and I've always had a passion to help people just change their thoughts, you know, and so yeah, and mm. it, it's it's been massive. It's been a huge honour. It's the stories that I've been gifted, mm. you know, have changed my life. Um, but you also got to know who you are. Yeah, mm. um, you got to know that you're okay. Um, you also got to know that it's okay to be who you are. And and if someone gives you a terrible thought. And what, mm. you know, you're overweight, you're bald, and you know all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you know that thought can grow if you're not well. Mm. Yeah, you go home. Oh my God, that person thinks I'm overweight, and you know, oh, I need to lose weight instead of going. Actually, I'm okay with it. Yeah, you know, people sit at home in their beds at two o'clock in the morning, going, oh, that person said, oh, so overweight. It grows and mm. it grows and it grows to the point where they either get really unwell, you know, or suicide, mm. you know, or their marriage breaks up. They lose their kids, you know. Um, you know, you know. We. It's amazing how uh, at a workplace, if someone broke their leg. We would support them to go to A and E, mm. A. Mm. Um, but if we got someone unwell in the office, we'll say to them, "Go home." Mm. Yeah. Or well, what? There's an opportunity to say, actually, how about I support you <coughs> to go to community mental health? Mm. Yeah. To sit with that person, and that's any service. Yeah. Any company, you know, we. You know the physical of breaking your arm oh you get empathy straight away mm. you know but if you've got really bad thoughts you you're all right bro you go home yeah and we'll see you on monday mm. Mm. you know instead of going hey bro how about i support you and we'll go see the doctor together mm.